Hello and welcome. I'm Mandy Cantrell from the B.B. Comer Memorial Library in Sylacauga, Alabama. I wanted to share some stories online with you. The first book I want to share is by probably one of everybody's favorite, Dr. Seuss. It's written by him. It's illustrated by James Stevenson. And the book is called, I Am Not Going to Get Up Today. Maybe you've had days like that. I know I have. I'm not going to get up today. Please let me be. Please go away. I am not going to get up today. The alarm can ring, the birds can peep, my bed is warm, my pillow's deep. Today's the day I'm going to sleep. I don't care if kids are getting up right now all over town. I'm the kid who isn't getting up. I'm staying down. All around the world they're getting up and that's okay with me. Let the kids get up in Switzerland or Memphis, Tennessee. Let the kids get up in Alaska and in China. I don't care. Let the kids get up in Italy. Let the kids get up in Spain. Let them get up in Massachusetts and Connecticut and Maine. Let the kids get up in London and in Paris and Berlin. Let them get up all they want to, but not me. I'm sleeping in. I've never been so sleepy since I can't remember when. You can take away my breakfast. Give my egg back to the hen. Nobody's going to get me up, no matter what he does. Today's my day for woozy, snoozy, ziz, 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 zaz, zuz. You can tickle my feet. You can shake my bed. You can pour cold water on my head. But you're wasting your time, so go away. I am not going to get up today. In bed is where I'm going to stay, and I don't care what the neighbors say. I never liked them anyway. Let them try to wake me. Let them scream and yowl and yelp. They can yelp from now till Christmas, but it isn't going to help. My bed is warm. My pillow's deep. Today's the day I'm going to sleep. I don't choose to be up walking. I don't choose to be up talking. The only thing I'm choosing is to lie here woozy snoozing. So won't you kindly go away? I am not going to get up today. You won't get me up with a strawberry flip. You won't get me up with a marshmallow dip or a pineapple butterscotch ding dang do. My tongue is asleep. And my teeth are, too. You can try with dogs and roosters. You can try with goats and geese. But I'm going to go on snoozing. You can bring in the police. You can print it in the paper, spread the news all over town. But nothing's going to get me up. Today, I'm staying down. You can shoot at me with peas and beans. You can bring in the United States Marines. You can put the whole thing on TV, but I won't get up today. Not me. Nothing's going to get me up. Why can't you understand? You'll only waste your money if you hire a big brass band. That's why I say, please go away. I am not going to get up today. I guess he really means it. So you can have the egg. I hope you enjoyed that book. One thing I've heard of people doing during this uh, coronavirus pandemic while we're all stuck at home, 
doing things there is some people are driving around going on bear hunts. I thought this was a great idea. I have a bear in my window at home and we have a bear in the window at the library here. So please drive by and look at our little bear in the front window. Uh, but I thought it would be fun for us to sing going on a bear hunt. Now all you need are your hands. We're going to pat our knees like this, but I need you to echo, be my echo. I'm going to say something and you're going to say it after me. Okay, I think we can do that. We'll, we'll, I think we can, the more we do it, I think the easier it will get. It's called, I'm going on a bear hunt. Going on a bear hunt. Going on a bear hunt. Gonna have fun. Gonna find a bear. A big bear. Come to a tree. Can't go around it. Can't go under it. Have to climb up it. Climb up the tree. Climb, 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 climb. Look around. I don't see any bears. Climb down the other side. Okay, you ready? Be my echo. Going on a bear hunt. Gonna have fun. Gonna find a bear. A big bear. Come to a river. Can't go around it. Can't go under it. Have to swim across it. Swim, swim, everybody swim, swim, all the way across, get out, dry off. Okay. Going on a bear hunt. Gonna have fun. Gonna find a bear. A big bear. Come to a mountain. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Have to climb up it. Climb. Big heavy steps. Climb up the mountain. Come to a cave. Can't go around it. Can't go under it. Have to go in it. But wait, I feel something. Now you repeat after me. It has big claws. Has big eyes. Has big nose. Has big ears. Has big teeth. Has bad breath. Oh, is it you? It's not you. It's not me. Oh, it must be a bear. Run down the mountain. Run, run, run. All right, come to the river. Swim across really quick. Then run, 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 run. Come to the tree. Climb up. Look around. Oh, there comes the bear. Run. Climb down the mountain. Run, run, run. Go in your house. Slide under the bed. Went on a bear hunt. And we had fun. And we found a bear. A big bear. He had big claws. He had big eyes. He had a big nose. He had big teeth. He had big ears, he had bad breath, Whew. and you know what? I was scared. Were you scared? I bet you weren't. I bet you weren't scared. All right, the next story I want to read is uh, the second. In the first book I read a couple of story times ago was The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt. This is The Day the Crayons Came Home. So if you haven't, you'll need to go back and li listen to this one. Then I'll tell you what happens. The Day the Crayons Came Home, written by Drew Daywald and uh, illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two days ago in the couch, two years ago in the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your Marooned Crayon. Maroon crayon. 
Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent, the crayon formerly known as pea green. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Hi, Duncan. It's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real color of the sun? Hot. That's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. Your not-so-sunny friends, yellow and orange. Hi, Duncan. I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was tan crayon or, or, or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug, Duncan. And it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? your indigestible friend, tan, or possibly burnt sienna crayon. <clears throat> Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Hey, Duncan, remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall? Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow in the dark, crayon. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon. Neon Red Crayon, P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make me blunt if you colored each coin individually. But would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to me? Also, no. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky on head buddy, turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate friend, big chunky toddler crayon. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest, making great time. I think I'm almost home, neon red crayon. 
Hello, Duncan. This is me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? But they don't know what else you use to, me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back. But please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? You're very embarrassed, friend. Brown crayon. Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. Thank you so much for joining me today at Storytime, and I hope you'll join us the next time. Thank you.